Yeah, I suppose my um, history of drinking is not dissimilar to a lot of people. I had a lot of years of, um, you could call it pleasant drinking, social drinking. So it was always masked by the fact that it was um, somehow, this is the right word, respectable. My life was a wreck. I basically did as much crime as I could to form my habit. I was in and out of the criminal justice system for years. Smoking weed, heroin, smoking crack. I didn't know where to turn. My ex-boyfriend introduced me to it. We both used to do it together. So we thought everything was perfect. It was just me and him, so I lost a lot of friends. Well, I am lucky, really. My family never disowned me. It was the fact knowing that they didn't want me under the same roof. I had the support, I could go there for meals and clean up. I suppose it killed me knowing that I couldn't stay in there, knowing they didn't trust me. What I really wanted was somebody local who could talk to us and could help us. And eventually, after three or four years of having very, very significant problems that were pretty much ruining the family, I came across Sias. Like a Sias. Like a Sias. Like a Sias. Walking in, I was scared. I thought that they would judge me because they didn't know me, that, you know, they'll be thinking, oh, it's another drug user, you know, coming in and we've got to help them. But Sias totally just made me feel relaxed and comfortable being able to open up and tell them, ask them for the help. My support at SIAS was brilliant because she was there where I could ring her or email her and I could go to some meetings. I'd meet other parents that were going through similar things and you were, you'd hear things and you'd just think, I'm not on my own. The first thing that we got was support from other people in very similar situations. Peer support where they could tell us what had happened to them it was a few guidelines on what worked and what didn't work. And there was a lot of common themes running through all of our experiences. If you can't read or write, they can get you onto courses, they can get you into college, help you with your computer literacy, email accounts, help you how to use a computer. SIAS so helped with my job search and they helped me update my CV. They helped me build my confidence up to look for jobs. To look for jobs. Eventually apparent to me whilst I remained with this organisation that it wasn't about stopping something, it was about starting something. It was about starting a life free from addiction, but not necessarily just free from alcohol, but free from the things that were causing the addiction. That seemed to me to be the important thing. The drink was merely a, a symptom of, of underlying issues. When I did start to engage, I was starting to realise that there was help. I was seeing a way out for myself. I started to reduce my methadone and going into a detox. I had never been into a detox before. I'd never engaged with my drug worker before. I'm going to be brutally honest now and say that as a, I was quite snobbish, really because we come from a middle-class background, that my daughter wasn't the sort of person that did drugs. Now I'm doing peer mentoring. I'm doing an outreach, which is feeding the homeless, give them sandwiches, give them hope, give them leaflets from SOAS, give them leaflets from changes. I am 112 days clean through SIAS and other services that are involved with SIAS. I'm in the drives and in a safe environment. I'm out of my hostel and I go down to see my family on a regular basis. I go to NA meetings and I'm in a much better position than I was 112 days ago. And in the end, I ended up getting a job. I'm a lot happier and building my friendships up. 
and everything's on the air. You know, when they say it's about giving back, it makes me feel like I'm giving back to them, but that there is hope. You know, if I can do it, and I've been out there for so long, on the streets, I've been on the streets myself, and, you know, I can just show them that there is another way out. Science provides you with support to help you cope with the situation you're in, whether you be a drug addict, somebody who has an alcohol addiction, or whether you're a family member. Science will do their very best to give you accurate information and give you emotional support to try to cope better with the predicament that you find yourself in. Having been a part of the SIAS journey, I've actually experienced it as a service user. I would speak very highly of the service that I've received. I haven't met anybody in addiction whose problem will get less as time goes by. If your drinking or drug addiction is getting out of control, and you will know whether it is or not. It would be to seek advice at the earliest possible opportunity.